Good morning. I thought I would hit on something for DoorDash. Um, there is something called peak pay. So when you have peak pay, let's say it's $2 peak pay, you write an order that would normally be $5, $2.25 and they're tipping you $2.75. So that'll give you a total of $5. So you run peak pay, and again, if it's $2 peak pay, then you add on $2 to it. So instead of a $5 order, it will be a $7 order. Now, usually when you get a stacked order, which means you get a second order, they usually take off a dollar. Or if you get two orders together, they usually take out a combined dollar, so it's 50 cents off each one. That's usually how they do that. So if you have a $2 peak pay and you get the stacked order, instead of having, let's say, two orders for $10 total, which is $5 a piece, just make it simple, it's now a $14 order and it's $7 per order. That peak pay means you get two extra dollars per the run. Um, you get another order added on, same thing, you're going to get an extra two dollars per order. It's real simple, it's not complex, but where it gets tricky at is you hit that order before the peak pay starts. Technically, you can call them up, and it might take you three, four, five calls to do it if you really want to put the time into it. I'm hot tonight. It's been a very, very active night. But let's say that you get the order before, let's say it's 11.30 to 1.30 for the $2 peak pay. And again, the peak pay varies. Now on DoorDash, technically, if you get the order at any point within that two hour frame, let's say that you have the order and you drop it off at 11, 11.31, that $2 will not show up on your peak, that peak pay will not show up on your order because you got it before that time. But if you really want the extra $2, $3, $1, $2.50, one fifty, whatever, if you really want it that bad, you can call them up and technically you might have to fight with them, make a couple calls and fight with them a little bit, but basically... The, the real rule is, is if you have the order at any point within that two hour time frame, even if it's just for 30 seconds, it, your clock just changed time, your, your time on your phone just changed time, really that's the clock you're going by is your phone. If you're 30 seconds into it and you deliver it right after it hits that 1130 mark, where the peak pay takes over, you can call them up and you should get that peak pay. You're not going to get it, so you're going to have to ask them for it. And be polite. As you can. Even though you might be really frustrated on like the 20th call because they hang up on you and transfer you and transfer you and hang up and hang up and hang up. No, you have the right to get that $2. They'll fight you for it because they don't want to give you more than they have to. But that peak pay, you should get if you're delivering any point within those hours. That's the good thing about it. And obviously, if you get it at eleven twenty, at one twenty nine, and it's over at one thirty, and you and you get the order, not necessarily pick it up, but you get the order at one twenty nine, and you deliver it by two o'clock, let's say, because it's a long drive, you will still have that peak pay on there. Because as long as you get the order before that peak pay ends, you will still have it. So it really depends on you if you really want to call that first one in. I've done it. I've let it go. It just depends on your preference. Um, DoorDash support will tell you that they're all for you, but the reality is they're not. Once in a while you get somebody that really does care and will do what they can. But the majority of the time, they will tell you they care, and then they'll transfer you and hang up on you and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Peak pay. Now, again, it varies. 
there's different times. A lot of times when you're in a town where everything shuts down at a certain time, they love, they absolutely love to give you the peak pay time when it's closed. Like, I know in my hometown, everything's closed except for one place by midnight. A lot of places close at 11, a couple other places close at midnight, and then there's usually one place open all night, but they only do deliveries till 3 o'clock. So, at 3 o'clock till 5.30, technically, 5 o'clock sometimes if you get lucky to get an order before that, but usually it's five, three, between 3 o'clock and 5.30, there is zero orders. But between 3.30 and 5, they love, they absolutely love, love to put a peak pay in there to make people interested even though there's nothing open it's worthless but hey you want to be clocked in and get zero money for doing no orders that's up to you I won't do it <laughs> most people won't because obviously that's a good time to sleep or if you do another job like I do then it's a good time to do that job there's no wrong way to do it. You can have it on and maybe you'll get lucky and maybe they'll give you an order that goes out of town and you want it running. That's happened. Very, 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 very rare, but it does happen. If you're in a place where your towns are connected, like let's say you're doing... Uh, I'm trying to think. Let's say you have Indianapolis and you have a suburb of Indianapolis, which obviously there's a lot of suburbs. And they do it by area. So you have different areas for those cities, you know? So let's say you get the Indianapolis order. In Indianapolis, there's still something open. But there's zero orders because everybody's sleeping. It's on a Wednesday morning where just nobody's ordering anything. And again, that's just an example. They can send you to uh, ten buck two. I I don't know. Was there Indianapolis? Is the first place I thought of that has suburbs. Um, I can do Ohio, Port Clinton. Uh, it's connected to Sandusky, the Sandusky block, so to speak. So you might have an order for. You might be in the running this the Port Clinton area, but it might be dead, so they might be sending over to Port Clinton to Sandusky. And in that case, if you have a peak pay that's in Port Clinton, then whatever area Sandusky covers that you're running, even though you're still clocked in at Port Clinton, you'll still get that peak pay. That's really really where I'm going with it. But if you clock out and clock back in it's in the Sandusky area and they don't have the peak pay, but Port Clinton does, then you lose that peak pay. So there's just different ways to look at it. Um, just trying to be educational. But the peak pay, the downside, the biggest downside to peak pay is when you're running in an area where they have a lot of people running it. When there's peak pay, a lot of people is going to want to run that area. So... You normally might be running an area where you're getting at least three, four orders an hour. It might be a short area, but then it has like a $3 peak pay, for example. Then instead of getting three or four orders per hour, you might only get one order per hour. Or you might sit there for an hour and not get an order till the next hour. Because there's going to be a lot more people running in that area because they all want the peak pay. So that's a downside to it. If the peak pay is high enough, it's not a big deal. But anyway, um, that's some tidbits for you about the peak pay. I didn't expect to actually go this long. Um, but I kept thinking of more things to talk about about the peak pay. So DoorDash is one of those things where you can come out really good. You might not come out really good. But I wish you luck. If you're running DoorDash, I wish you luck. I hope you have a great time with it. And it can be fun. You can joke around with people. But their support can be also irritating. So, or you get people that don't want to tip, and that's irritating too. 
but that's for another time, another story. But peak pay, if you get in an area with peak pay and you just happen to be available and you just want to run because you have nothing else to do, go for it. I have found a lot of times, unless it's like the late, late, late night, peak pay is not worth it. If you're running supper time and that's when the peak pay is and that's the only time, you're going to have everybody in the neighborhood running at that point. And if that's the case, I usually try to go to a different town or bypass it all together. Um, but that's my points about DoorDash today. Two thumbs up. The lighting is really weird right now, but that's because I'm at a red light. Stop in the name of love. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm high on caffeine. It's great. Um, but yeah, peak pay can be a great thing, can be irritating. Um, but either way, like, share, subscribe, give me your thoughts. Feel free. Uh, that's my two cents. That's probably worth less than two cents, but hey, I like pennies. <laughs> I give them to my, I give them to my daughter, so I like pennies. Anyway, now it's a completely black screen with a constant light that keeps hitting from time to time. And let me give you a lighting lesson. I'm just really being silly. Anyway, peak pay. Awesome. Two thumbs up. Now, you can't see me, but I'm putting... Yep, there it is. And it's gone. And it's there. And it's gone. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, you guys be blessed. I wish you guys luck. Like, share, subscribe. Give me your comments. What do you think? Do you guys run peak pay? Do you try to avoid it? Let me know. You guys have... Be blessed, and I'll catch you later.